Hey, YouTube. That light is just a little too fucking bright. Okay, um, I just got back from kind of like a pre-4th of July cookout at my aunt's house. And I say pre-4th of July because it's not exactly the 4th of July yet, but I don't know. I guess she, she just couldn't wait to have cookout, so... <laughs> And I'm not going to complain because I had a pretty good time. You know, I got to stuff my face and, you know, drink and all that wonderful shit. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, James, I really enjoyed reading your story. I mean, I know you have a lot more, you know, I know there's a lot of other things that you've wrote. But, you know, I'm glad that you at least gave me a little taste of, you know, your writing talent. So I really appreciate that. Thanks. Um, yeah, the camera's kind of like at an odd angle. Kind of like at a weird ass angle. Anyways, other than the cookout I went to, I don't really know what else this video should be about. I just, I just remembered saying I wanted to try to make a video on Saturday for once. So, yeah, this is me. Um, this is not really important what I'm about to do, but I don't know. You want to see what I got on? Yeah, I just wore this uh, striped uh, shirt. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not really, I don't really know like all the correct fashion terms. So I don't know if this is a, considered a blouse or a button down or just a damn shirt. I don't know. But yeah, I wore this and my, uh, Shorts, my long ass shorts, looking a little masculine. You can say that, but um, I don't mind. Um, I'm pretty cool with people out there saying, you know, shit like, you look like a fucking dude. I don't care. I'm one of those people that I just dress. Um,. I dress in the clothing that makes me feel comfortable. Um, as far as rather uh, looks too feminine or too masculine, I really don't give a shit. I really don't. Um, let's see, what else? So yeah, I went to a pre-4th of July cookout. What else happened today? Nothing. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, nothing else really happened. Um, yeah. But, um, so I don't know. Someone tells me this is probably, see, I'm, st wait a minute. I was going to say this is probably going to be a short ass video, but I just remembered that, um, just last night I finally started reading this book and this book is called a channeling handbook. And I did, um, like two videos ago I think it was where I was you know showing some of the books that I like to read and I did show this book and I said that this I think I said this is one of the books that I haven't really started reading because I was kind of nervous about it you know because the whole channeling thing um you know like I mean to me channeling just meant I don't know learning how to learn the techniques or whatever um, of allowing a spirit to like take over your body and like communicate with people who are still alive or something like that. So I was really scared to even begin reading this book at first, but I'm glad that I finally started reading it because it is, it's, it's just not what I thought it was going to be. It's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. Um, I mean, shit, I, I bought the damn book, so I might as well read it, you know what I mean? I mean, what's the point of, like, wasting money on a book and then never reading it? Um, but yeah, I started reading this last night, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I will say that it's pretty interesting, not as scary as I thought it was going to be at all. However, there are, um, about, there's quite a few pages in the book that say, um, 
they say things like, well, if you're reading this book, I don't, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. I mean, I would look the pages up and read them to you, but that would be like such a waste of time. Um, I'm trying to think of a simpler way I could say this. There were a few pages in the books that were, in the book, that were kind of like a warning, like, like if you're just reading this book based on, you know, your, I don't know, ego, um, then maybe it's not a good idea for you to be reading this book. And they didn't say it like that in the book, but that's kind of like what they're um, hinting to you, I don't know. So that kind of makes it seem a little bit scary though, because you know, I mean shit, if they have to keep warning you more than once in the book um, that if you're not, you know, if you're not reading this book with an open, um, open enough heart and if you're just reading it based on ego and trying to become kind of like a fake I don't know psychic slash some kind of powerful person who like thinks they're better than other people just because you're reading the damn book then maybe you shouldn't be reading it um, <laughs> just the fact that they warn you more than once, that kind of freaks, that, that freaks me out just a little bit. Just a little bit though. But not enough to um, keep me from reading the book because again, I don't, again, like as far as the whole channeling thing, I don't really know exactly how much of a believer I am in it. So I don't know, I guess my my personal reason for reading this book is just out of curiosity. I'm not trying to. I mean, I don't think I'm re. I don't think I'm reading it for uh, any kind of intent of you know any kind of negative intent to like. I don't know. Become a damn uh, sorcerer or sorcerer, however you say it, or some shit like that. But that's the way they make it seem. Like I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not reading it to become like some kind of fake, you know, psychic slash sorcerer type, some kind of magical person and feeling like I'm all that just because I'm reading this damn book. I mean, right now, as far as, you know, me since I'm open-minded and stuff like that, I'm just reading it out of curiosity, you know, plain and simple. Um, if I gain something from reading this book, cool. If I don't, you know, whatever. But um, I don't really have any, I, I don't think, I, I don't have any negative intentions for reading the damn book. Um, but yeah, I started reading the book about channeling and stuff like that. As far as how I feel about it, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but maybe by the time I get to the end of the book, who knows, maybe I'll like transform into some kind of completely different person. I don't know. Hopefully I won't, because that will be kind of freaky, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind freaky, but too freaky, you know, it's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, this is my Saturday video, and I think I may have made probably one or two other videos on a Saturday in the past, but I can't remember exactly which videos those are. You're just going to have to find them on your own if you want to. Um, even though I'm making a video on Saturday, I still might make one tomorrow night too. Uh, so I can, all I can have to say is that I hope everybody's having a great weekend and you know, great 4th of July weekend and uh, I will see you hopefully tomorrow night. But if I don't see you tomorrow night, I'll see you Wednesday night. So, okay. Bye.